Hey, good day guys. I uh, just want to review a couple of trades I did over the week. Um, at one point of time I was down about $2,000, which is just incredible. So at one point of time I was down about $2,000, but over uh, slowly but surely by trading a small size, I recovered. Um, so I just want to go through the trades which I did. Hopefully you guys are able to learn from it and are able to improve. And that's what I'm trying to make these videos so I can actually go back and actually review it in the future, right? So let's take a look. Uh, so let's take a look at this AAP, right? This advanced auto parts. So I traded on the day when it actually is gapping down, right? A um, couple of things was happening, right? I saw this stock overall on the daily, it is down. Right, it's clear picture. On the weekly, the trend is down. So of course, my bias is short, right? So what really happened on this AAP trade? Just bring it up. So this is the day when I actually was trading it, right? Um, let's try to bring this up over here. So. On this AAP trade, if you look at this trade, um, shorting about $87 and $87.21. So here's what was the thought process. On this day, uh, my bias was down, right? So I was just looking for an entry, uh, which is gonna make sense. So a few things I did wrong was I traded a bit too much size, right? Trading a bit more size uh, actually let me actually uh, take too much risk and too much of a stop loss so my first trade on this AP was when the stock went down uh, I saw this come back and I shorted over here and the first trade actually did really well in taking the profits over here however what I went was I went greedy right when I went greedy that was the wrong thing to do because I remember I shorted somewhere over here and this stock literally took off on me right when the talks took took off on me uh, I thought you know what I closed out on position and I tried to reshort it again and then it took off on me again uh, so because of those three stop outs uh, this stop out was really really crucial it went from 87.50 to almost uh, 88 dollars I think I had about thousand shares at that point of time and then again when I was reshorting it over here around 87.65 it popped back high as well right so overall when I took this initial trade uh, it was a smaller trade but then when I was adding up sizes over here uh, that actually really killed me but if you see overall um, after the first couple of hours uh, right after this 1030 this stock actually trended really nice right I mean the the, the thought process looking at the daily chart the weekly chart was good but in terms of the execution, it was all over the place. Uh, so this is what threw me in a bit of a uh, rip, where every every time I shorted, trying to kept it bouncing back up, and I just lost confidence in the trade. I talked about mental capital and financial capital in previous videos. So the my whole mental capital for the week was just exhausted because of the fact that I uh, just lost a whole bunch of money in just span of less than not even an hour right so that was that uh, but if you look at the other trades which I did uh, let's look at the DE trade uh, D trade is something which I made today so overall if you look at the stock uh, the stock was gapping down over here I mean the trend was up but it was dropping down over this vacuum now if it was so I was trying to trade on the short side so in the initial in the morning I actually waited for the stock to actually pop back up, uh, come down, pop back up, and once it broke through these levels, I actually shorted it, and that's where you see me taking these positions of around 140, 1426, and taking some out over this 113.30 level. Right? Uh, let me just show you my entry. So yeah, 114.26, and I covered at 113.40 something. Uh, the other trade I did was on JD. So JD, I traded it on the day when it was gapping down over here, 
on August the 14th, right? Uh, it's around $45. Let's take a quick look. So on JD, I had a decent trade. Um, so let me just bring this back up to August the 14th. Um, let's take a look. Just give me a quick second on here. So JD was a stock which I traded on this day after this initial. Uh, I think I traded on a smaller time frame because. It's around 44.46. So this is the day when I actually traded it, right? So on this day when it was gapping down, I uh, traded below this 44.50 level when it went down. I actually took some profits down here. And that was pretty much the trade on the JD. So overall, looking at the big picture, one of the reasons I really traded this was uh, on the weekly chart, if you look at it, I mean, after this push, I mean, it didn't really form another higher low. It actually, went down lower, right? If you look on this daily chart, moving up, formed this base, went back up, and now once it's gapping somewhere near the higher lows, I actually took my, uh, actually was looking for positions to short, which is actually uh, exactly what happened on the three minute chart. And when it did, it's back up. So when it went under the 44.50 level, this is where I traded it and I took some profits and so that was that trade. Uh, the next one on there is LB. LB, the trade I think was on Thursday. Yep, this is the day when I traded it when the stock was actually gapping down. So again, intention. Uh, Overall, on the daily chart, the stock is trending down. Weekly, the stock is down, so my bias was down. Uh, the way I traded on LB is I shorted it somewhere around this region, right? So once I saw this old zigzag, zigzag movement going on, and when it actually went down, I shorted it and I took some positions out. So that was really pretty much a trade. I think I got somewhere around 36 something, uh, 3610, and then I took some positions out on there. Then the other trade was MYOK. Uh, MYOK wasn't really that great of a trade. Um, it was an afternoon trade. Don't really trade afternoons, but this is the day when I was uh, trading it. Right. So, I mean, I know, remember that after I took the trade, the stock actually started going. So I, I went long over somewhere over here. Now, when it popped up over here, the spreads were super wide. If you look on the stock on here, I mean, it's not really trading a lot of volume on here, right? So that's why it was, it was a bit sketchy. After this pop, I wasn't really sure, you know, whether this stock is going to roll over or not, because this stock is already up from 40 50 to already $43. So not a price for the trade. was more of a scalp trade, which I really want, don't want to be trading. Uh, the next, the last one was the YY. Uh, if you look on YY, um, so I had this loss of $298, $71.73, and $71.81. Um, so I think the day I was trading it was on this very day because I was trying to keep on shorting it, but it kept on popping up. So it was on the August 16th, right? So bias was short because I was looking at the daily chart. I thought, you know what, um, this had a higher low, it went up, it gapped down over here. One thing I didn't really realize is this was actually gapping down right under support, unlike the JD stock, where, right, if you look at the JD stock, it's actually gapping under uh, this lower high. On YY, that wasn't it. It was actually gapping down to support. So that's why I actually got a bit uh, smoked out, right? Because I was trying to short it over here, hoping for a flush, but on the bigger time frame, 
it was actually gapping down right to support and it actually came back up and I had a stoppage out there. So overall, in terms of for me to get back, what you will notice is in terms of my losses, right? My losses over here were more on based on trading too big, too much, right? But my profits were actually on lesser amount of shares. So one key thing that I really learned is, I mean, you can, can you make a lot of money trading size? Yes, you could, but if you're wrong, then it's actually gonna exhaust you on your mental capital. So the best way is to really trade small, couple of hundred shares, uh, still make decent gains on it. Uh, so overall, that's how I went from a negative $2,000 on this AAP trade uh, to actually I think on positive 70 or 80 bucks for the, for the week. Nothing too fancy, but you know what? From negative $2,000 back to break even, I would say that's great. Uh, can things be improved? Definitely could. And hey guys, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'll post more videos for you guys to see more.